So about a week ago, a guy calls me and he goes, he's a realtor. I know him. He's a, he's a, a, a Durham realtor. He says, oh, did you hear about the, the nursing home? Da, 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 da. They sold it to the region. It's going to be a homeless shelter. We're now going to have this homeless shelter in our community. It's crazy. Like, what the hell is going on? And I was just like, well, how much did they sell it for? <laughs> and it was $5.7 million more than they bought it off of us when you've got so what, what do we learn money. here? We buy properties that the government wants and we sell them back to the government. That's what I did. I called TK right away and I was like, TK, like, <laughs> let's call that guy and see if we can find him another deal. Property I sold, Tom, in um, in Whitby. Okay. Yep. Now, this was a nursing home. It was around since the 60s. They had, uh, um, you know, some additions built, stuff like that. It was like 80,000 square feet, 130 beds, like big establishment. During COVID, they um, had about 40 people die. So the ministry came and shut them down. They were, cause they were old. Like the building was old. It wasn't, it was one of those places and it got in there and it just, you know, a lot of people died. They're all older and vulnerable. And so the ministry took over. They, they were at the end. They, there was no more licensing. There was nothing they could do with this building. So they came to us to sell the property. So about a year and change ago, maybe now more or more, they came to us. We sold the property. We had a bunch of bids from builders, uh, land developers, people, and everything else. And this one company came in and they overbid everybody and paid like a crazy price. And we were all very happy. And that everyone was like amazing. At the time, the region had called me after it was conditional during the due diligence period. Durham region called me and said, hey, we're going to um, look at doing a homeless shelter there. Like, can you find out if like, if it doesn't, if the deal falls through, let us know. Or if they're willing to rent to us, let us know. So I was like, all right, well, I'll let you know. Deal didn't fall through. Went firm, closed it. Everything was fine. So about a week ago, a guy calls me and he goes, he's a realtor. I know him. He's a, he's a, a Durham realtor. He says, oh, did you hear about the, the nursing home? Da, 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 da. They sold it to the region. It's going to be a homeless shelter. We're now going to have this homeless shelter in our community. It's crazy. Like, what the hell is going on? And I was just like, well, how much did they sell it for? <laughs> and it was $5.7 million more than they bought it off of us for. And the guy who's a really big developer who bought it, who owns tons of hotels and stuff like that, basically said, I talked to his agent, screw you. We got it. We're going to turn it into something amazing. We're going to make a ton of money. And if you want it from us, this is our price. And the region had just got money from the province and the province was giving out money for homeless shelters. And they have now paid $13.7 million to house 40 people in a building that holds 150. Yeah. This is who we're leaving our lives. This is, this like, is the strategy right? that they've decided. It's all over the news. You can look it up. It's, I, it's CBC, everything like that. So all this is information that's out there. Did Real they assign thing. your contract or they closed? No, no, they closed. And like, it, you know, it was almost like eight months later. Like it was like legit at the end of the day. Right. A real kick in the teeth <laughs> when you think about it. I, but the I talked to the client, I called them right away. They're all just like, we don't give a shit. It's what they commercial. Like, so there's no speculation tax on that. We've moved on. on yeah. We, they were like, we've moved on. Like, we're, this is great. They did really well. Right. They were really happy. But the main thing was just like, that's what the region does when you've got. When you've got so what, what do we learn money. here? We buy properties that the government wants and we sell them back to the government. That's what I did. I called TK right away and I was like, TK, like, <laughs> let's call that guy and see if we can find him another deal. But this is what it is. So this is these are the things. So again, back to COVID things, you know, things got shut down. There was a lot of issues. Not good enough for the elderly, but the homeless. Yeah, we can put the homeless in there. Hmm. No big deal. Just the homeless. Right. Right. But but OK, so. um do you think that it's going to happen again? And do you think that um, we're going to have to deal with this? Or do the you think that again? No way. Yeah. No one's buying no. into this. crap. Nobody's buying into no. it. Right. No, thank you. I think God. even Everybody's if it was legit this crazy. time, not, not to say this time, I'm not going down that road, but yeah. even if it was legit, yeah. I think people are so fed up yeah. that we're they not. just wouldn't acknowledge that... it. Take my chance. Really? Yeah. Wow. So that's interesting. Remember the fear mongering from Italy and Spain and all these places. Like we were all sitting at home going like, I'm I'm going to like wipe my hands clean after I get gas. Like that was a pretty intense point in time. So that, you know, oh, there was shit. a lot of things happening at that time that made us a little bit more susceptible. What about the older Nowadays, people that were like that. brainwashed and went mantle from all this? You don't think that they're like got their box of masks ready to go and they're yes. like ready to lock down when they tell a them few to? people. But so, not, not... so what's going to happen? Like all the uh, middle kind of 
50 30 year olds are going to revolt and say yeah fuck you i'm going to go wherever i want and uh yes. that's it i think so yeah wow yeah. can and you no imagine? businesses will close down and it'll nobody's just be closing like, we're open for and, and and then the government won't behave the way they did last time like they forced people to close last time do you remember yeah. like at the beginning that guy with yeah, the pizza restaurant or last the wing time was place? The one in a hundred year event if it happens oh. twice in five years i think the outcome will be different hey guys thanks for watching our clips channel why don't you go and check out some more clips we got lots of other good content somewhere over here don't forget to like comment and subscribe boom that was good that was, that was good. good that was good i like that that was good